That was the drama um, during the Nigeria Football Federation Charity Cup game in uh, Abuja Wednesday last week. And at that game, the NFF president was there, the NFF first vice president was there, the NFF, uh, the second vice president, chairman of the League Management Company, uh, was there, executive committee members were there, a whole lot of top football persons were there, and that show of shame happened right there in front of all these dignitaries. Oye, Maurice Coman has a very fiery temper, we know, very fiery temperament. But I'm surprised that after this event, nobody said anything. We didn't even read about it. If not for our guys in Abuja who got us these pictures to tell us about what happened, this would have just gone like that without anybody raising an eyebrow. And for Basi Akpan, that young man surely hasn't learned his lessons from what happened to him in the past. Yeah, it's quite scandalous to him. You know, I, I was tempted to lampoon Basi Akpan, but I also saw the coach. So he began to ask the question, who is supposed to, you know, be an example to the other? Like you said, Basi Akpan was um, some time ago banned for one year for unruly behavior. You know, I think uh, beating up... Um, and it was super, it was own base super ego Yes, choice. a guy that had, had, you know, a promising career ahead of him was, uh, used to be a junior international, you know, and I think, um, he, like you said, he has not learned his lesson. For Maurice Coleman, we, we have known him to yeah. be... Look, look at Adam Passi here, poking his hand into, his hands the into the assistant uh, referee's eye. Clearly a red card offense to him. And the, the, the referee did not uh, do the need The referee gave him a yellow, anyway. He didn't do the need for, and like you said, the referee no, action, gave him a yellow. no action was taken. You see, what the, what the, the implication of this is that uh, it sends the wrong signal, the wrong precedent, because other players, other teams, can also, you know, um, begin to say, okay, it, it, they did this and uh, they were not punished. For Maurice Coleman, like you said, a coach that has been very, very successful in the Nigerian League, he has coached, we can begin to name a number of clubs that uh, he has coached and uh, he has won title, but uh, he needs to keep his uh, temperament, he needs to keep his emotion. You know, at the last Super 4, he was red carded, mm. and I think that was why the officials were trying to restrain him. He was heading towards the referee, and if they had allowed him to, you know, get closer to the referee, Perhaps he must have. He could have given him a terrific punch, mm. and that would have been a disaster for Nigerian football. Like you said, the Nigerian Football Federation should have done something. Should have uh, meted out uh, some, you know, pun punishment to the coach and Basi Akman, because you don't do such things in football and get away uh, with it.
Well, let, let's use this opportunity to welcome Gentleman Yemi Adibayo um, to sports tonight. That wasn't gentlemanly. At all. It was you always have, it, it, you always try to take it easy. But no, I'm, sure, no, no, I'm, no. Not, I'm sure you're not going to... I'm a stickler for rules when it comes to football. And that was an unruly behavior. And you don't expect that from a coach. Uh, I had to listen to him because I, I was laughing uncontrollably. Uh, you know, he, he was telling us that, you know, players should behave like that and the coach should be the one restraining, restraining his players from going not, on the pitch. Not the players restraining their coach. Their coach. <laughs> I wonder what would have been the fate of, of, of the referee. If, if those guys, got close to him. I don't know. <laughs> and the way he marched off in the field. Like I mean, a general. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was, and it was, this it was is Aqua United that will be representing us, that are already representing us on the continent, and they're going to come up against a lot of decisions that they will feel is this not is going Africa, their way. Africa and is this, what, is this what Maurice Coleman and Basi Akpan and the other players, is this what they're going to be doing? It's not going to be in the interest. It's going to be disgraceful for Nigeria. Yeah, it's not really going to be disgraceful. The... They, they have to keep their temperament in because when you go outside Nigeria to play, a lot of things, a lot of you know, um, rubbish will be thrown at you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you don't keep if yeah, you don't cool. manage to keep your emotions, temperament, you can get a record. So you, 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 you heard what happened to um, a lobby goalkeeper when they went to Green Buffaloes. They, and it was the same was the Maurice same Coleman, Coleman that, was the that was the coach of Lobby. Lobby were leading. Tai Tao scored two goals away. They were leading. Two nil. John Gadi came out for the second, um, the second leg and beat up uh, the, the ball boy. Said the ball boy struck him with a goal. And it was immediately recorded before even... The, re the second half started, and that was how Lobby lost that, that game. game. No, so you, you have to keep your emotions yes. in check. All right, so we are waiting for the Nigerian Football Federation to make a pronouncement on that show of shame because it happened in the Charity Cup game, a Charity Cup game of the Nigerian Football Federation, and nobody has said anything about it. So we are calling them out that something must be done uh, about that show of shame from Maurice uh, Coleman and and Basi Akpan of, uh, of uh, Aqua United. Anyway, um, Yemi, 